Hey YouTube, it's me Sharice here again and I came to talk to you about my hair experience. I had it flat ironed eight days ago, bone straight, like it was super duper laid. It was looking good. But today I decided to see how it would revert and I just got done uh, doing a protein treatment, deep conditioning, conditioning and rinsing all it out and applying my products for a wash and go and I want to show you Oh, and I trimmed it before I did that because while it's straight, you can really see your dead ends and stuff. So I trimmed it before I pro did my protein treatment, protein treatment and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you the heat damage I'm experiencing. So this is what my hair looks like. And as you can see, we got some straight ends over here that I will cut, but I wanted to make a video about it before I cut them. But, um... I did notice that the texture of my hair changed as soon as I put the protein treatment in and started to work it in, which um, let me show you everything I used. First I kind of did like a pre-poo, I guess you could say, with coconut oil. So I applied just some organic refined coconut oil all over my hair, and this is from Walmart. I applied coconut oil, and on top of my coconut oil I put my Organics Africa's Best hair mayonnaise treatment for weak damaged hair and it has olive oil and egg protein and this is what I use as my um, protein treatment whenever I feel like my hair is weak and after I use heat on it so this is what I used and I left this on for about an hour I left the coconut oil and the protein treatment on for about an hour and then I rinsed it out with cold water and as soon as I rinsed it out, I noticed that my hair was looking different. It wasn't as coily as it normally is in certain spots that were like completely straight, like over here. So after that, I used this Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. And I left this in for about 15 minutes. And I rinsed this out with cold water. And after that, I noticed that some of the hair that I was concerned about started to spring back up and get, you know, coily and curly again. But these, the section over here, we're going to have to snip, snip, clip, clip, because I don't play this. And I cut off about two inches from when I first got it straightened because I don't like having dead hair, unhealthy hair. I'm all about hair health versus hair length. Length will come eventually, just gotta give it time. And um, I'm a pretty patient person, but I do not have the patience for damaged, unhealthy hair like these pieces in this um, region. So like I said, I deep conditioned and conditioned with this, which is really, really good, guys. It's really good. Love it. And then let's move on to my styling for this wash and go. So first thing I did was I use the lock method sometimes. So my liquid, my liquid, my liquid <laughs> is this Infusium 23 Moisture Replenish Leave-In Treatment and it's to hydrate dry flyaway hair, which I thought I'd be experiencing, you know, after I had it straight for eight days that it'd be kind of dry. It didn't really get that dry, but I just wanted to be safe and I really love Infusium 23 and it really does strengthen your hair. So I put that in all over. I made sure my hair was drenched with it. It was actually dripping with Infusium 23. Then I did my oil, so that's my liquid. My leave-in treatment is my liquid. The O, which is the oil of the lock method, is my extra strength argan oil of Morocco. And it's a penetrating oil for dry and coarse hair, which my hair is fine, but because I have natural hair, it tends to be on the dry side. So this stuff really works. As you can see from when I first bought it, like a week or so ago, I'm over halfway through it because I mean, I was. this is the only thing I was using when I had my hair flat ironed was this oil on it. And it's really, really, really good. I would recommend this to all human beings that have hair. And on top of that, your cream. Why well, don't use a cream? I guess I used the log method because I used a gel, not a cream. So L-O-G for me. And the gel I use is the Smooth and Shine Polishing Gelation Plus. And it has protein and aloe vera and it is a weightless hold styling gel which is true your hair will not feel heavy or like like a stiff it will still have movement with this gel and this gel does not flake up and it's moisturizing which is why i wanted to use this 
and because it has protein to help strengthen my hair after it's been all the heat that's been put on it and how it's been bone straight I wanted to use protein to help get my hair back up to par but you can see that there's some parts that just refuse to uh, cooperate but that's okay because like I said I'm gonna cut them off in this video so I'm gonna go get my scissors oh they're in my pocket go figure so I have my scissors in my pocket and this is my mirror. So I'm going to prop that up here just so I can see. And I am going to look at that. Snip off these ends that are too straight for me that I can't deal with right now. So there's some some more. I wish I was wearing a white bathrobe so you can see, but but I'm just gonna snip away some of these really straight dangling ends. So I don't want them to hang down like this. I want it to kind of blend in with the rest of my hair as much as possible. So I'm just going to chop these pieces off. But I wanted to show you before I cut it that, you know, my hair, all of it didn't revert back. And there's some straight pieces up here too. I don't know if you guys can see that on the ends of these two pieces up here. They're very straight slash wavy. But for the most part, my hair did um, go back. And this is going to shrink up a bunch once it actually dries. So that's pretty much it for this video. Now you can see that it looks cute now. Now that I've cut it. Cut off those straight pieces. But I um, just wanted to let you guys know that this is how my hair reverted. How there are straight pieces. There was heat damage. Even though the girl who flat on my hair did use a heat protectant on it and stuff. But I think her flat iron was much hotter than my flat iron because when I tried to flat iron my hair the two times in the past, it didn't get nearly as straight and didn't stay straight for more than like a day. So, would I flat iron my hair again? Yes, but not for a long time. Probably not until I reach some of my hair goals. Until it's a little bit longer. So if I have to cut off more, I can afford to lose more. And sorry, my sports bra is showing. But, yeah, so this is my wash and go. And I'll just kind of rotate so you guys can see. And the other side. So yeah, that concludes this video on how my hair reverted and the heat damage I have experienced. But you know, the great thing about hair is that it grows back. So I'm not complaining, y'all. I enjoyed it while I had my straight hair and I'm looking forward to seeing how my hair continues to recover and revert and bounce back. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye YouTube.